the new king in one of the country's oldest buildings. From the walls of Westminster Hall, a thousand years of history look down. Some of it between Crown and Parliament has been stormy. Another King Charles was put on trial in this place. And the speaker recalled how once Queen Elizabeth had come here to celebrate a moment when one of her predecessors was overthrown. After receiving the condolences of Parliament, it was the King's turn. He said his mother had sworn to maintain what he called the precious principles of constitutional government. This was the first time he had heard God Save the King in a formal setting. And he seemed moved. This MP has written a history of Parliament, but he believes the ceremony of these days serves a purpose he recognises from another part of his life. He is still a son grieving for his mother, but he came here to make it clear the arrival of a new sovereign will not change the constitutional bargain between Crown and Parliament. Well, Andy, as you can see, he joins us live. Really good to talk to you on the programme. It's been a, a remarkable few days for the new King, hasn't it? We were talking about the first week for Liz Truss as Prime Minister, but the King has met an awful lot of politicians. He's been incredibly busy. Yes, he has. Well, that relationship between the Crown and politicians is absolutely central to our democracy, to our constitutional monarchy. The, there's still great powers invested in theory in the monarchy, but the bargain is that they are only ever exercised through Parliament, uh, through government. And so the King needs to get to know these people. He knows some of them already, but he needs to get to know them again. And not just at Westminster, in Scotland, he's been talking to the First Minister, and he's going to Northern Ireland tomorrow, and he's also going on to Wales. Also. Today I was in Westminster Hall. It was quite a moving moment when God Save the King was sung. My understanding is that's the first time it's been sung officially in the presence of the King. And I think he looked uh, quite moved in the pictures. So he's had, he has had a busy time, but the relationship here at Westminster with politicians is still very important as well.